Good morning, Jason Sen from DayTradeIdeas.com. It is the 19th of November. Uh, this week, commodity-wise, we're following WTI crude. Um, you can see it's been in a fairly steady uptrend for the last uh, year and a half, but uh, more recently over the summer, autumn, we've seen a good sell-off. Um, so this week we uh, expected some lower prices. Uh, we have come back to retest November lows around the 92.50 area. We're just holding above there, but it uh, doesn't look very positive to me. And I do think we're going to test this trend line, which goes back to the 28th of June. If you saw yesterday's video or read yesterday's report, you'll know we're still quite negative on this, even though we are quite oversold. So what we're looking for is uh, a break of November lows at 92.50 area and a test of this trend line. Uh, going back about 18 months or so, uh, which also happens to coincide with uh, the 200 week moving average. So we're looking at 92.00, 91.75 as very good support this week and therefore a good chance of a low for the week. And we should therefore hopefully be using this as some sort of buying opportunity. Um, a break below FIB support 91.30 would uh, not be good. So we really need to stop out of any longs there and uh, that would pretty much kill the idea of a bounce from that uh, trend line and weekly moving average support. But uh, just bear in mind and we'll keep an eye on this during the week. If we do continue lower, we then meet good weekly Fibonacci support around the 9065 area. So um, anyway, initially uh, we are looking for a test of 9200, and we are hoping for a low for the week there. Um, today we'll just have a look at the short term chart just to see what happens. As, you, as I said we are getting a bit oversold short term so um, if we, we hold above 92.50 then we could head up back up towards 94.00 possibly even yesterday's high at 94.30 but I'm I'm guessing that well it's been it's been holding you can see just this last uh, few days you know, in fact we'll go back to the daily chart we'll see that a bit more clearly you can see that the 94 00 sort of 94.40 area has really been a struggle the last few days and I don't see that changing I think we've really got to test that 92 00 91.75 area before we can start thinking about some sort of break higher okay that's it for today for WTI thanks very much I'm Jason Sen at daytradeideas.com